Concept two, finding the domain and range of a relation. All right, so if you remember from the last video, domain is our x value and range is our y values. Okay, um, if we are working with a table or a list of ordered pairs or um, a discrete graph, our domain and our range are just going to be a list of numbers. Okay, so if I'm looking at this table, my domain is going to be negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And my range is going to be 5, 2, negative 1, and negative 4. Okay, that's simple. All right, a discrete graph or a table is much easier, um, but with what we've been doing, it's not too difficult to, what we did in chapter 2, it's not too difficult to represent the domain and range of a line segment or a line. Okay, a line is easy. If I have a line that, um, let's see, let me get this one, there we go. If I have a line, we'll make it orange. If I have a line that goes, say from this point down to here, okay? And it's got arrows on either end, okay? This is my linear equation keeps going forever. Well, even though it looks like it's going vertically faster than it's going horizontally, right? It has a more vertical slope. Um, it's still going to be covering all values of X and all values of Y. Okay. Um, so that one has a domain of all real numbers. all real numbers, and a range of all real numbers, okay? Because it's got arrows on the end, it keeps on going forever. With a line segment, we have to calculate and figure out where our endpoints are, okay? Um, so if my scale on my coordinate grid, this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis, my domain, and I should have put colons in front of all these, but my domain is going to be starting at x is 1, right? So it's going to be x is um, greater than 1, greater than or equal to, really, since it uh, my line goes all the way to that point. And then it's going to be, oops, starting to do this backwards. It's going to be less than or equal to x is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, my range, same idea my y value, my lowest one looks like it's at negative 3. So negative 3 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. Okay, so that would be my domain and my range for this line segment. Right.